Treatments for varicose veins have changed dramatically over the last 15 years. Gone is the notorious tying and stripping of varicose veins, a painful solution which resulted in weeks off of work, large scars, and in many cases, the possibility that the veins would grow back. A more modern approach, endovenous thermal ablation, is associated with high success and low complications. The procedure is performed on an outpatient basis with local anesthetic and typically requires no sedation. Patients can be back to their daily activities in no time. Dr. Charlie Hahn of Veins, Florida, explains the benefits of this minimally invasive surgery. Ablation process means we destroy the vein that has developed problem. It takes really minimal sedation. Uh, it takes a very short period of time to do, usually about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Uh, patient go home same day, usually you know, 30 minutes, an hour after surgery. Really not much pain after surgery. And uh, all the incisions are very small, very minuscule. They heal very nicely. It can eliminate almost all those unsightly veins and swelling and pain patient experience. So I think it does really help patients a lot. It, uh, from the uh, procedure and uh, the post-op recovery and also, you know, amount of pain they experience during procedure, after procedure. It, it is really much dramatic improvement. We can use different energy source, most popular laser and also microwave. And these are minimally invasive. We place the device into the vein. It's usually only by the one needle incision, which is usually the saphenous vein with ultrasound guidance and uh, when inside the vein the device will heat up. It's either by microwave or by laser and then will damage the lining of the varicose veins and then will uh, make it shrink and eventually go away. We prevent excessive blood flow from coming back to reach those varicose veins. The uh, blood flow uh, used to be back up in the vein would now be rerouted to the deeper vein which will be back to the system and it has minimal blood loss and really minimal pain in post-operative recovery time. Usually I advise my patient to elevate the legs about 48 hours after surgery and then subsequently they can get up and move around and they usually they don't have much pain. If you'd like more information on endovenous thermal ablation or contact information for Veins Florida, just click on the An End to Varicose Veins story link icon on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.